Hi guys, this is Jelly Wish here. Thank you so much for coming back on my channel and I hope you guys are doing awesome. All right. So today I'm going to talk about how you can consciously create a new reality for yourself by using the Neville Goddard's teaching, which is law of assumption and how you can actually, you know, imply this teaching uh, to transform your current reality into a desired reality. So we are going to break down an important concept about choosing your thoughts aligning them with your desired reality so let's get started so first of all let's talk about the importance of choosing our thoughts so as per neville goddard yes our imagination and assumption shape our reality now what does this mean this means that yes whatever number of thoughts that we entertain a lot play a very crucial role in manifesting our 3d reality why because that becomes our dominant thought right so if thoughts play such a crucial role in shaping our reality, then we need to be very, very considerate in what kind of thoughts are we entertaining in our day to day life. What happens is every time we are thinking about something, right, and we keep on thinking about that stuff over and over again. So when you are repeating this thinking process over and over again, it also invokes certain feeling around that thought. Okay, it can be of a positive nature and it can be of negative nature. Now, since you are thinking about this one thought along with the feeling and you're repeating this whole process over and over again, it becomes your belief. As we all know, whatever number of beliefs that we hold on to helps us in creating a similar kind of, you know, 3D reality in our future. So if we are holding on to a negative belief we are more tend to attract such kind of similar experience in our day-to-day -day life which is more of a negative in nature so yes if you deduce the whole thing you will come down to one and most important thing which is what kind of thoughts are you choosing while thinking about something you know in your day-to-day -day life so yes choosing a thought is very much essential in creating your 3d reality or desired reality now if any thought doesn't serve your desired reality, now it is the time to let it go. It is very much essential not to waste time on it. Instead, you need to start focusing on the thoughts that are more aligned with your goals and dreams. By doing this, you are ensuring that yes, your mind is geared towards creating the life that you want, towards creating the desired reality that you always wanted, right? For example, if you um, if you find yourself thinking negatively, like, um, I'll never get that job, you know, let's take this uh, simple example that, okay, fine, I am thinking about a job, I want to get that job, but somehow, be, Due to my current circumstances, I believe that this is not possible for me to get that job. Immediately stop right there. When you have found yourself thinking about this negative thought, stop right there and take a pause. And ask yourself this question, is this thought really aligned with my desired reality? Because the answer is 100% to no. When you know that it is not serving my desired reality, what is the point of wasting even a single second on this thought? You tell me about it, right? So you need to replace it with a positive thought. You need to flip this thought right away. So instead of focusing on the 3D, which is of course, you know, making you think about those negative thoughts, please stop right there and take the power right in your hands by reminding yourself that it is you who's creating the future for yourself. So is this what you want to create more? Of course not. So what you have to do here is you need to sit with yourself for just maybe 5 seconds or 10 seconds, take a long deep breath and now replace it with a positive thought like I'm a perfect candidate for this job. How is it that difficult to put a you know positive statement in your mind that yes, I too have an equal chance to get an interview with this company because I do have many good qualities and why not? These people can obviously consider me just like everybody else. So just like this, you need to do this internal shifting within yourself. But because whenever you are doing this internal shifting by consciously selecting the thoughts which are more aligned with your desired reality, you are giving more importance to the positive thoughts which are going to create more of such a reality in your 3D. 
so you need to be more aware of the nature of your thoughts whenever you are practically doing this internal shift by identifying the nature of your thoughts and every time you are finding that yes this is a negative thought it is not serving me and my desired reality i'm going to replace it this is how you are you know uh, taking a control back of your 3d reality and the shift is very much crucial because your thoughts are the seeds of your future right so yes that is why you need to choose your thoughts very wisely you need to be very selective in what you are thinking and what you are entertaining in your mind right now let's talk about the power of you as a creator now you are made of three important element three important components rather i should say number one is spirit the second one is mind and the third one is your body which actually aligns perfectly with the uh, neville goddard's teaching right now let's talk about spirit first spirit is what it is the creative force which is similar to what neville goddard has referred to as a imagination or the divine within us right it's the source of all creation right now when we talk about mind the mind is basically responsible for manifesting our reality so according to goddard our assumption and beliefs reside in our subconscious mind where they take the root and eventually manifest it in the physical world right so that is the importance of a mind in your existence as a creator now last is your body now what is body why do we need our body our body experiences the 3d world that is why it is very much important to have that physical existence and since we are present in our body as consciousness we are present in our body which is our 3d world we experience everything in the 3d world and then we react to what the mind believes and assumes it is through our body only that we interact act with the whole world that we have manifested that that is that is the importance of these three things which is spirit mind and body now we have established the fact how we are manifesting things into our 3d reality what is the role of spirit which is our consciousness what is the role of a mind which is actually responsible to manifest everything in our 3d reality because through our mind only we we think about a certain uh, you know thoughts we imagine certain thoughts and accordingly we manifest them in our 3d reality and that is how we are experiencing everything in the physical world through our body all right now as a consciousness we are allowed to have anything that we want but how do we you know how do we choose that um, some people are more interested in having a love life you know great love life some people are more interested in having great money in their life so whatever you want you need to first decide that thing that this particular thing is what i need this particular thing is what i want and it is my burning desire once you have decided that this is what i want now with the power of your mind you imagine the end result of it right with the power of your mind you can experience everything in advance as the fulfillment of your desire in your mind it is that powerful your mind is that powerful and if you have read multiple books of neville goddard you must have known that he has talked so much about the power of your mind and not just that he has also talked about the power of your belief system the power of your assumption so with a very strong belief system with a very strong assumption you can actually train your mind to get anything that you want it is very similar to the placebo effect uh, whenever you are having this belief that okay fine i am popping a pill it is going to make me feel better it is going to cure my disease half of the disease is already cured because you have that kind of belief system it is the power of that belief that even after popping a sugar pill you feel better why there is no medicine inside that pill but it is just because of that positive belief system that whenever i am going to take a medicine it is going to cure me it is going to make me feel better with this belief system even the sugar pill is going to work on you that's how placebo effect works that is the power of your mind that is the power of a positive mindset right so now the next question comes then how can we train our minds to manifest our desired reality let's dive into some practical steps so that it is very much easy for you to you know imply it on day to day basis number one step is mindfulness be very much aware of your thoughts as we have discussed in the beginning of the video you need to be more cautious about what you are entertaining as thoughts you need to start noticing when you are entertaining a negative or a limiting belief because what 
happens is if you are so much comfortable thinking negatively then it would be very much difficult to you know to force those positive assumptions on your mind because your mind is trained to think only negatively but yes it is very much possible to th- you know to reverse this whole process how by being more strict <laughs> you need to be more strict uh, you know in what you are thinking you need to be more cautious in selecting your thoughts and entertaining them this is the first step of being aware um, of your thoughts of your thought patterns and whenever you find yourself you know going down that road where only the negative things are you know being entertained you need to stop yourself take a long deep breath and tell yourself this is not aligned with my desired reality and if it is not you know serving my desired reality it has no place in my mind period i'm going to flip it i'm going to repeat those positive uh, you know thoughts multiple times so that my mind understands that there is no place for negative thoughts in here right so this is how you can replace those negative thoughts with a positive one by being more mindful about it that's number one uh, step right now moving on to the second number step which is meditation i cannot emphasize more on this step because the more you are you know meditating the more you are calm the more you are centered the clear your mind will be with regular med- meditation you are going to feel that yes you are able to quieten this uh, monkey chatter you are able to quiet this uh, mind it is going to make you feel easy because now you are able to identify these uh, negative thoughts immediately it is not that natural for your mind to accept these uh, negative thoughts you know just as uh, quickly as you were uh, thinking about it before once you start meditating and now you are more centered now you are more um, you know grounded now you are more uh, at the root level right so this is why meditation is very much important in fact when you are practicing any kind of neville goddard technique be it sats be it you know lullaby method it is always uh, recommended to do the meditation before the sats exercise before any lullaby method or be- before any any kind of uh, manifestation technique do the meditation and then uh, do your technique it is going to give you more success right so that's how important the part of meditation is in your manifestation journey it also strengthen your ability to focus on positive affirmations more and even on your visualization more because now your mind is all clear right now moving on to the third step third step is listening to your body so please start paying attention to how your body is reacting to your thoughts because negative thoughts what what happens when you think about anything which is negative in nature negative thoughts often trigger physical stress responses right recognizing these signs that yes it, you know there's something wrong with my body i am not breathing well there's you know there's just a difficulty in the breathing when you recognize these signs it can actually help you to catch and cancel these thoughts early that is why you need to start paying attention to your body more right and when you catch yourself dwelling on any negative thoughts my advice would be to just simply say cancel cancel <laughs> very simply you are just rejecting that thought immediately and not allowing it to sit there in your mind right and when you have canceled this thought now it is a time to replace them with a positive affirmation and then once you are done with these positive you know thoughts once the replacement has been done once you have canceled those negative thoughts now you can even visualize lies now you can even imagine the end result and that is how you are detaching yourself from the current reality because as they say you know where your focus goes energy flows so your focus is where right now your focus is not on the current reality your focus is more on your desired reality yes as i was telling that yes our mind is immensely powerful and the way we train our mind will automatically will get reflected back in our 3d so if you train your mind to live on a negative thoughts and worries and tension then of course it will create more of this world which is full of worries which is full of stress and which is full of tension why because that's what you have been training your mind to do it right let me give you a very basic example how our mind works so if i ask you to only look for a red color object in your 3d your mind will ignore everything else and start looking for more and more of red color object am i right or wrong right now you can practice this uh, you know 
exercise and since you have repeated this uh, multiple times this thought has been there in your mind multiple times you have been thinking about it what will you notice you will start noticing that even though you are not looking for red color object in the 3d your mind is automatically bringing the same kind of object which is red in nature into your 3d reality and hence more and more red color object start appearing in your 3d how many people have experienced this kind of situation in their daily life because i'm sure this is a very casual kind of a situation if you look for a red color car more and more red color car you know start appearing on the road that's how your mind works and that's how your mind manifest your 3d reality by using the thoughts from your mind which has been repeated multiple times so that is why selecting and choosing the thoughts which serves you and are completely in alignment with your desired reality is extremely important so yes in this video you have learned how you can actually create your desired reality by choosing the selective thoughts which are you know more aligned with your desired reality and by not paying any attention and by not entertaining the thoughts which are not serving you at all okay so yes you need to practice mindfulness you need to practice meditation you need to start learning to listen to your body these are the practical steps which you can you know imply on day to day basis and which actually is going to help you in detaching yourself from the 3d and be more focused on your desired reality all right so yes that's it for today i hope you have enjoyed today's video and in case if you did do not forget to give it a big fat thumbs up please like this video and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing this channel because on this channel i come up with lots and lots of interesting stuff based on neville goddard's teaching which is definitely going to help you in your manifestation journey and if you need some kind of help in your manifestation journey i do offer one to one coaching program the seats are still available there are four or five seats which are still available so yes do hurry up uh, if you are interested in getting one to one coaching program just dm me on my instagram my instagram handle is my daily wish and uh, over there just dm me i'm there to help you out i'm there to guide you with the entire process with the content of the coaching each and everything i'll be telling you over there and also don't forget to follow me over there on instagram also my instagram handle is my daily wish and now i'll be meeting you very soon in the next video until then please do take care of yourself and happy manifesting